Good morning. Um, my name is Ms. Gilbert. I'm with uh, DCPS Transportation. I'm one of the supervisors in our department. I'm Mr. Wilkerson. I am one of the Gen Ed coordinators. Uh, good morning. I'm Angela Bridges. I'm the ESC coordinator for Duval County Public School. Okay. Thank you for joining us for this presentation. Um, and so we're going to leave this screen and start the presentation. If you have any questions that you have throughout the presentation, go ahead and post them in the chat. Or if you hold them to the end, then we'll answer um, accordingly. Hello, and welcome to the Transportation Department's Traveling with Transportation course. We know you are excited about this next step in your child's educational journey, and we appreciate you taking this time to learn some rules of the road. Duval County Public Schools is committed to the delivery of safe, reliable, efficient, and cost-effective transportation services to the district community. Our contracted fleet of buses transports approximately 47,000 students annually, driving over 10 million miles each year. Each school bus takes an average of 36 cars off the road each day, helping our environment. According to the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, the school bus is the safest vehicle on the road. A student is much safer taking a bus to and from school than traveling by car. Florida even has some of the strongest safety requirements for school buses in the country. The first step in starting your journey is finding the right school for your child. Whether your student attends their neighborhood school or a magnet program, there are pluses and minuses to consider. All magnet programs have a particular theme. Once you determine your child's interests, look for schools with that focus. This will allow your child to develop their special interests, talent, or skill. Attending a different school outside of your community provides your child the opportunity to meet students from outside your neighborhood and possibly all over the county. However, you should consider the distance from your home to your school of choice. As attendance areas for magnet programs are larger and more spread out, the length of the commute should also be taken into account. You are encouraged to visit the school before making a final decision. You may determine the choices for your area by visiting the Find Your School page found on the Duval County Public Schools main website. Enter your home address to find the elementary, middle, and high school for your area. Magnet choices and eligibility for magnet transportation are based on the attendance area of your neighborhood school. Once you know the home school for your area, you can use that information to define your choices. More information can be found in the school choice reference guide. Now let's talk about who is eligible for transportation. Eligibility for magnet transportation is based upon the student's primary address, so please make sure your address is always current in focus. If it is not, please update it with your current school. Students attending their neighborhood school and living over 1.5 miles from that school are eligible for transportation. While some magnet schools also serve the entire district, many only have transportation from specific areas. Students must be accepted into a specific magnet program to receive transportation. Check the school choice reference guide for schools that have transportation in your area. For elementary, look for the also served by box for additional schools outside your area that offer transportation. If your student will need transportation, please make sure to check the school choice reference guide to confirm your student is eligible from the zone where you live. Information can be found in each school listing. Please note, students who enroll in a school using the special transfer option 
are not eligible for transportation. Transportation for special transfer option students is the responsibility of the parent or guardian. Students living less than 1.5 miles from their neighborhood school are not eligible for transportation. The transportation needs of qualifying pre-kindergarten and ESE students are managed by the ESE department. For more information about your student's specific needs, please contact the ESE office for assistance. Duval County Public Schools requires students to be registered for bus transportation each year. You will receive complete instructions for this process with your magnet acceptance and instructions can also be found at duvalschools.org slash bus registration. Parents and guardians will need to have a linked parent account to submit a request for transportation. Bus stop assignments will populate and focus on the transportation tab once approved. This assignment is based on the primary address. It is vital that the student's primary address is current and focused. If it is not, please update it with the school they currently attend. Now that we know who is eligible for a bus stop, let's talk about how bus stops are determined. Bus stops are placed according to state and district guidelines. Elementary students are eligible for transportation if they live more than 1.5 miles from the neighborhood school. In the event a student is attending a magnet program that's eligible for transportation and they live under 1.5 miles from the neighborhood school, that school will become their bus stop. Bus stops may be located up to one mile from the primary address. Some elementary magnet students will ride two buses in the morning and afternoon. They will be picked up from their neighborhood and travel to a hub school where they will transfer and ride another bus to their magnet school. The process is reversed in the afternoon. Annually, magnet bus routes are reviewed. Magnet routes with 10 or less magnet students may be discontinued the following school year. You may apply to a magnet program for the upcoming school year with the understanding that transportation may be the responsibility of the parent or guardian. A few words about our younger passengers, kindergarten students. A parent or guardian of a kindergarten student is required to complete a kindergarten dismissal form at the school before the student may board the bus in the afternoon. This is extremely important as the student will not be permitted to board without a completed letter. Please note, this is not permission to ride the bus, but a set of instructions as to the delivery of your student in the afternoon. There are several options to choose from on the form. The student may walk home by themselves. The student must be met at the stop by a person named on the form. The student may walk home with a sibling or other family member on the bus. Remember, for the safety of your child, all people named on the form must be prepared to show their identification to the driver before the student may be released to them. Middle and high school students use express routes, which have limited bus stops selected by the transportation department. Dedicated magnet students travel to their neighborhood high school in the morning, then shuttle to their school of attendance. In the afternoon, they ride one bus directly to their express stop. All other magnet middle and high schools will have the same express stop in the morning and afternoon. They do not travel to a neighborhood high school or transfer buses. There are two exceptions for the dedicated magnet afternoon service. Students that live in the far north side will go to First Coast High School and Beaches residents will go to the Fletcher High School. From there, they will transfer to a second bus that will transport them to the closest express stop to their home. Express stop locations are typically near Duval County Public Schools, parks, 
libraries, or shopping centers. There are no neighborhood stops on these routes, such as in front of an apartment complex or subdivision. The district's distance to stop policy does not apply to express stops, so it is possible a stop may be quite a distance from your home. Parents or guardians are responsible for transporting and supervising their children to, from, and while at the bus stop. Students participating in a high school acceleration program will have the same level of transportation service extended to that school. For example, if your student is accepted into the IB program at Terry Parker, transportation is only available in Terry Parker's boundary. But if your student is accepted into Paxson's IB program, countywide transportation is available. Middle and high school students that participate in after-school activities are also eligible for transportation. Students need to participate in a specific organized activity at their school to qualify for service. Some schools distribute bus passes to confirm eligibility for ridership at the end of the activity, so check with your child's school to see if that is required. ASA bus stops are similar to express stops and are only placed at other Duval County public schools, libraries, public parks, or shopping centers. To make a request for a new ASA bus stop, contact the athletic director at your child's school. They will verify the student's participation and forward the stop request to our department. Here are some rules of the road to help keep your students safe. Always plan to arrive at the bus stop 10 minutes before the scheduled time. This will eliminate unsafe situations such as running for the bus, or being left behind. Under board policy, parents and guardians are responsible for supervising their student at the bus stop. For everyone's safety, please review the bus rules with your student. These rules and more information can be found in the front section of the Student Code of Conduct. Earlier, we mentioned that students must be registered for transportation each year. Students will receive a Smart ID badge from their school that will allow them to scan on and off the bus, as well as use for other services at school. We are currently piloting a program at a few schools with plans to expand district-wide next school year. Parents and guardians who have registered their students for transportation can also download the Agilog Parent Portal app. This app provides the latest information on the location of your student's bus. You're able to customize notifications and know when your student has scanned their badge to board and exit the bus. Thank you for spending this time to learn more about transportation. Our staff is available at 904-858-6200 from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday for assistance. We are also available by email at dcpstransportation at duvalschools.org. We strongly suggest you visit our website at duvalschools.org slash dcpstransportation for more information and updates. Listed here are other departments you may need to contact for assistance the Help Desk, Office of School Choice and Enrollment, and the Transportation Department. Thank you again for joining us. That concludes our portion of the presentation, um, but we invite you to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you.